today i'm going to share with you how you can use auto aware layout or auto padding on around your buttons in adobe xd or any element you have so you can see here we have this simple form and uh, whenever you want to use this new feature you have to select and create a group at least so it will work on group and components so right now you can see this is our text field and it is a group we have one background this rectangle one and hello this is a text and if i select this uh, you can see i have to select this uh, group layer over here or group icon and then i have this layout over here which is padding so i'm going to turn on this padding and it is going to pick up the default padding i i have right now so i have uh, 18 at the top you can see icon is also changing over here 128 on the right also it is showing over here 18 at the bottom and 23 on the right so these are the paddings i have right now so you can see over here if i try to select this text and try to write it uh, for example change it to asan at the rate of gmail.com you can see it is expanding with the same auto padding i have set over here uh, so i'm going to skip back and change the text back to whatever it was so this is another feature which is really cool and if you select this again padding you can switch to same padding all on track all uh, on all directions so at the top bottom right and left it has 18 right now so we can switch back 128 like this and it is going to expand like that similarly you can see i have this button and this is a component so right now we have two layers over here uh, inside this component and these are the uh, padding values i am using 23 on the top and 36 and 36 at the bottom uh, on the right and on the left you can also press uh, whenever you want to change the values over here you can press tilde key and you can see if you select this and press the tilde key it is going to whenever you hover on the sides paddings it is going to show you these paddings you can see so you can change them like that by dragging your mouse over here by pressing while pressing the tilde key and one more thing is if you have, are pressing the tilde key you can also press and hold your alt key alt and option key and you can change the padding on both sides simultaneously like this so this is a really neat feature just added in adobe xd in 2020 and uh, uh, one more thing if you want to add an icon over here for example i have this button component and or i want to add an icon over here and uh, very easy it's very easy you just have we already i already have this component check box over here 13 check and before adding your uh, icon over here if i try to drag and drop it it is not going to happen something like that so double click and uh, you have to select some layer inside your component or group then you can add your icon like this over here it is going to adjust the padding for example i want to keep it like this and let's move this button over here you can see it has already detected my padding on all sides and added the icon uh, where it should be and uh, doesn't it didn't disrupt my padding all around my button so this is a very neat feature recently added in adobe xd i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any question or comments you can put them in the description or the link below or sorry in the comments below and uh, uh, i hope you have enjoyed this short video uh, i am going to make more videos like that till then uh, you can subscribe, like and share this video. Till then, see you soon in another video. Take care and bye.